morning, packing up my tent in my little stealth spot on the side of the trail. I love how roomy this is, like, headroom, either side, like, so much space to get everything organized. <laughs> So I'm trying something new for breakfast this morning. I found cereal at Walmart. I repackaged it into a Ziploc bag, but it's Fruit Loops with like dehydrated milk. So if I add some water to it, it might taste just like cereal and milk. So I figured I'd, I don't know, for fun, give it a try. So I might just eat it right out of this bag. This feels wrong, pouring water on my cereal. <laughs> that was kind of, we couldn't find the food. Yeah, that was... It honestly doesn't look that bad. Let's taste it. This is gum. This is like a good, good, quick breakfast. Okay, I could do this more often. There's the little spot in the woods where I camped last night. Not very glamorous. <laughs> I am on my way now. It's raining a little bit. I think it just rained a little bit all night, but stayed nice and dry in my tent. The only thing about this tent is that I think it holds on to moisture a little more so when it's packed up all wet it's probably a lot heavier than it usually is so I don't know I keep thinking about the pros and cons of the two tents but I am really excited to use this new one. Yeah the plan right now is to hike 12 miles to Culver's Gap and then there's a restaurant there and I was reading the comments and it looked like there's USB ports under the bar so and the place is very close to the trail so if I walk there right in time for lunch recharge my phone and then hike out of there so something very similar to what I did yesterday and that works out perfect the only thing is I don't know if there's a place to resupply in Culver's Gap and I maybe have a day and a half of food with me so maybe once I'm at the bar and I'm charging my phone I can really start researching shuttle options for my next resupply and my next town stay. But yeah I'm thinking about a burger but I have a bunch of protein bars in my fanny pack to hold me over until then. Hopefully this goes by quick. I think I packed my backpack weird. I think my stove is like sticking into my back and I'm still getting used to it. <laughs> like how to pack in the new tent. It does seem to pack down smaller than my other one, which I'm very surprised about, but I do have to use the tent, put the tent poles on the outside of my pack, kind of like in the water bottle pocket with my tripod. So I can do a whole video on why I switch tents. I'll probably end up doing that. <laughs> because uh, there's a lot of reasons, a lot of different pros and cons. These two tents are so different. But, all right, now I'm gonna hike. See how even the trail is right now? It's just kind of like a dirt path with no rocks on it. That did not happen the whole second half of Pennsylvania. So I'm enjoying this while it lasts. <laughs> huh, there might be a chance that I just found a bubble of nobos because I just passed someone going south on the trail and it's 9 a.m. and he said he already passed 10 nobos. Uh, so that tent site that I was trying to stay at last night had a bunch of tents and I'm sure there are other people stealth camped and this morning I heard people walk by my tent while I was still in there saying it was like oh I guess she couldn't find a spot either because <laughs> that was just in a random spot on the woods so huh maybe I'll catch up to a bunch of nobos and meet some new people because 
it's been a while <laughs> since last night was Friday night. I didn't know if all the tents I was passing were going to be like weekenders or through hikers. But after talking to that guy back there, it seems like they're through hikers. <laughs> So now I have one mile left until the road crossing where the restaurant is. I've been doing the thing today where I hike for two miles, listen to two chapters, hike for two miles, listen to a podcast, and so on and so on. So that's been helping pass the time. But honestly, today's been actually going by slower than I thought. I was like, yeah, I get to the restaurant at like 12 o'clock, one o'clock. It's almost two, <laughs> but I am 12 miles into the day, so I guess that is pretty far. I just hope this restaurant is everything I imagined it to be, but really a burger and a place to charge my phone would be ideal because I am planning on camping outside again tonight. This will be the third night in a row, and that's usually the point where things start to die and I need to go to a hotel and recharge everything. I'm getting to the point in my through hike where I crave the hotels, not so much for the laundry and the shower, but for just charging my phone. <laughs> Cause I think I'm getting more comfortable with the hiker trash hygiene. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll camp out tonight and then look for somewhere to resupply and go into town tomorrow. I think that's the plan, but I still gotta double check. <laughs> I took my hair down to look maybe a little more normal when I walk into the restaurant. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. This is perfect because as soon as I got out of the woods and started walking to the restaurant it started raining a lot so maybe I can go inside and eat lunch until it clears out a little bit. So that was kind of successful. I went to the tavern and had some lunch burger, fries, peanut butter pie. I think it rained the most while I was in the restaurant, so that's good. It's sprinkling now, but it's really not that bad and I think it might stop soon. While I was sitting at the bar, I charged my phone. It was kind of slow, <laughs> it only got to 40%, but I think I have enough power in my battery bank for a couple more charges. Then I went next door to a gas station because I thought I could get some more snacks. And then turns out that there was no like shop attached to the gas station. New Jersey's weird. It's their gas stations are full service, so you don't even get out of your car. So there wasn't a shop for me to <laughs> buy more snacks. I think I have enough, but I don't know. I always just like having a little bit of extra food so I don't have to worry about it. I looked up some resupply options for New Jersey and hotel options and just doesn't seem like there's that much. I contacted a shuttle driver, uh, but she's busy. I was thinking of maybe going to the Quality Inn tomorrow. So, I don't know. I'm all set for today. I'll hike to a shelter and then tomorrow I'll try to find a way into town. I didn't want to go to a hotel tonight because it's Saturday and everything seemed overpriced, but tomorrow, Sunday night, should be my town night. And then next Wednesday, I'm thinking of Nero because that's gonna be the finale of Survivor. So I wanna get into town early and like really just go all in for this finale. Get a pint of ice cream and maybe a pizza and everything. So that's my plan, <laughs> kind of. We'll see if everything works out. I have no idea. <laughs> this is Sunrise Mountain. I mean, there's not going to be any view, it's just totally foggy, but there's this neat pavilion. I don't really need a rest though. I'm at almost 19 miles for the day, and I just want to get to at least 20. Uh, and I'm pretty sure there's a shelter within a couple miles, so that's the plan. I just wanted to get on and talk about how Today I have honestly been stressing a lot about what my next 
pound stop slash full resupply is going to look like. But in reality, it's not that tough to figure out because there are a lot of places and resources along the trail and you can definitely make it work. I'm just, I think, kind of picky when it comes to it and sometimes I'm not willing to compromise. But at this point of my through hike, I am really looking to stay at host, no, not hostels, hotels. I'd rather stay at hotels than hostels. I just like the privacy. I like just being at a hotel. That's just what I prefer. And I also try to hike at least 20 miles a day. And so those two things I'm trying really hard to do, but sometimes just the town and the resupply doesn't align with that. So it just seems that in New Jersey, something is going to have to be compromised. That's just the way the trail is at the moment, the way the road crossings and the towns are lining up. Uh, I can't have it all. <laughs> so I think I have a plan for tomorrow and I'll share that with you then. But yeah, that was stressing me out until I realized that it's honestly kind of ridiculous to have this whole checklist of things and not be willing to compromise. So something's got to give. <laughs> And I'm honestly kind of excited about my decision. So right now I have two miles until the shelter. And I'm going to get there at 8 o'clock. So it'll be another quick set up the tent, eat some ramen, go to bed type of night. We'll see if anyone's there. I don't know what it's going to look like. I thought the tent sites were going to be empty yesterday, but they were full. It is a Saturday, so... You never really know what the shelters are going to look like, but hopefully there's a nice flat spot for me to set up my tent. I should have been counting because I probably saw over a hundred of these guys today. They're pretty cute, but I don't want to step on them. One mile left. 